and welcome back to Pixels for People 2023, guys. I was a fool and thought it was going to be Yonoid next, but it's actually Spectacular Sparky by the same runner, though, so I guess I was half right there. We are still raising money for um, Child's Play. Uh, we are currently sitting at $2,190, which is $190 over our uh, set goal, but obviously the more the merrier, so... Definitely keep those donations coming if you still have them. And by that, I'll let it for you, Chill. Take it away. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, this is Spectacular Sparky. Um, gonna be playing on normal slash super normal in this case. Um, we're gonna be playing Frenzy Mode, which uh, I do not want to do that. Um, Frenzy Mode is kind of like Adventure Island. Uh, you've got health that just constantly goes down. Um, but you can collect armor and more health to obviously stay alive. So let's just get into it. Um, timer starts, and off we go. So, as I usually describe this game to people, um, it's kind of like if Sega had uh, decided to try and copy Gunstar Heroes and just include new grounds humor to it. Um, yeah, it's a fun game. I enjoyed quite a bit. Uh, it came out two years ago. Um, nobody really seems to have heard much about it because it seems like the company that was supposed to do the advertising and actual like publishing duties and stuff just decided, hey, let's not bother advertising this game at all. Um, another benefit to Frenzy Mode as opposed to the normal game is you have unlimited stamina. Normally you wouldn't be able to do constant dashes and flying around but because we're in frenzy mode, we can do that. Um, so yeah, there's different guns that you can get. We're gonna be sticking to a few of the, or a few standard ones for a while. Um, flamethrower works well, as does the laser for just uh, going against stronger opponents. And then there's also the homing missiles, which we're gonna try and get. Let's do this. All right. Hop in there. On to our first boss. Um, another thing for Frenzy Mode is there is no dialogue that we have to really worry about. It skips most of the story. Um, there are a few things that we'll have to actually like manually skip, but not really a huge deal. Come on, get, get back here. There we go. So first boss is down. Try and collect some health here. And we'll move on to the next stage. Um, yeah, storyline wise, you're playing as Sparky. He is the intergalactic bounty hunter. Um, kind of a little bit on the dense side, but that's okay. We still love him anyways. And we go through here. Yeah, you've already pretty much seen all of the uh, main mechanics to the game. There's dashing, there's flopping around, there's burning stuff. And that's about it. Um, there are uh, shoot em up sections between each level, and they're fairly standard. You don't get any special weapons or anything in those. So, off we go. Stage two down. Apparently that's a new record. Maybe we'll actually get some decent time. Um, so yeah, the boards for this were fairly empty when I hopped on. They're still fairly empty, um, but it was kind of weird. They had it set up where the any percent was uh, finishing the game after the third boss, which now sounds off to me, but. Um, yeah, that has since changed. They do still have that as a category, but it's based off the boss name. Um, yeah, and then we just got easy, medium, and hard. There's Frenzy, the main campaign, and then time attack mode as well. And yeah, 
just drop it along. This, oddly enough, is probably the hardest boss, and I think I'm actually gonna just die against him, but we'll see. I still have some armor left. Uh, in frenzy mode, if you have armor, uh, it decreases the speed at which your health goes down. So as long as I don't take any actual hits, I should be okay. Maybe, let's see, no, I think I'm hosed. Yeah, I'm hosed. Let's try to see if we can, no, nope. okay. It happens. Um, thankfully, super lenient when it comes to checkpoints and stuff, so. Kind of stunk, but whatever. Okay, and here is going to be one of the easiest uh, examples of frenzy mode being good for speedrunning. We're normally supposed to take that and go through a slow hang glider section, but we're just going to zoom past all of it. Not too far though, because I do. Oh no, yeah, that'll be fine. Here is the first major boss. Planet Dave. I don't know why he's called Planet Dave when he's not the size of a planet quite yet, but we'll get there. Um, normally it'd be better to have any other weapon, but that's okay. It's super easy, I'll just back here and be good to go. Alright, first stage done. Give me your insides. Delicious stars. Everyone's filled with stars. And we're moving on. Going on to the first auto scrolling segment. Skip a little bit of cutscene and let's go. I would say, unfortunately, the auto-scrolling sections are kind of the weakest part gameplay-wise. Um, mostly just because there's not too much to it. Um, even on the hardest difficulty, it's fairly easy to go through most of these. And most of the bosses are just go up and down while still firing. But that's alright. We're not here for the auto-scrollers, we're here for the rest of the game. I hadn't even heard of the game prior to one of the more recent Steam sales. One of my friends picked it up for me, and I'm like, hey, this ticks pretty much every single box that I enjoy for video games, so that's cool. And then I saw the boards pretty much empty, so I figured, why not? Let's give it a shot. There are currently just two other runners on the board besides myself. So if you think that you might enjoy the game, I encourage people to go and beat my times, because we need more people. Okay, here's the first boss. Um, also during auto-scrolling stages, if you're firing at a boss before you hit the cutscene for them, they still take damage, which I guess is kind of cool. Do, do, do. 
Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of storyline beside behind most of the characters and stuff, but they don't really go into much detail. Um, they don't do like a whole lot of exposition. It's just like, oh hey, this character knew this character beforehand and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's keep moving. I want a flamethrower. Ah, let me out. Freedom. Should probably stop taking hits too. That might be helpful. Um. Yeah. The first boss in here. Oh, I want that. First boss in here might be recognizable to uh, some people. It's a direct ripoff of a boss from a different game. And I'm okay with that. Actually, um, yes, that's what I want. Yeah, as you probably could guess, um, there'd normally be a little bit of platforming and stuff in here with the balloons, but we're not going to do that. So instead we're going to be fighting against this creature that's in eternal pain. Nothing but pain for him. But yeah, I forget the name of the original boss in Gunstar Heroes, but very much the same. Come on, give me your eyes. There we go. Now I sound a little sadistic when playing, apparently, because you normally don't shout that when you're uh, fighting against a boss, but maybe that's what they were going for. Some sonic spikes. Um, so normally you can only go up to 100% for armor, um, unless if you pick up a 200% armor pickup specifically. But if you pick up like 250, so it'll equal 100 and whatnot. Um, but yeah, normally it just caps you back at 100. Let's keep moving. Um, so here is the character Nightshade. I just picked up a weapon that I did not want to pick up, but whatever. Um, she is another bounty hunter. Uh, she's trying to kill Sparky. That's bounty. Um, but he is completely oblivious to that fact, and he's just a major fanboy of hers. So she keeps coming back, getting frustrated because he's completely oblivious to the fact that she's trying to kill him. I do like the uh, little game gear frames on the uh, thing. There was a throw out there, a shout out to uh, the indie gamer chick written on the side of the train and graffiti. She's also, oddly enough, one of the only people that I've heard about this game from, so for her and keep on moving. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I do want those. Uh, so yeah, this guy is not too bad. Um, I'm using the wrong weapon. Let's get that health down a little faster here. Fairly easy setup. Da, 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 da. And there we go. Boss down. 
done with the train, and we will keep on moving. So I'm done with this wave. And go on. But yeah, and then obviously you can shoot the balloons, make them disappear, which, as you can guess, kind of sucks when you're trying to actually fight on them. But again, we're cheating with frenzy mode. Yep. So here is Sergeant Blown Apart. We are going to hopefully make quick work of him. Oh, yeah, um, I completely forgot to mention, there is a uh, overheating mechanic to the game with your weapons. Uh, if you are using anything other than the standard shooter, um, actually I think even the standard shooter has it, uh, you'll end up having to uh, let your guns rest, otherwise they'll just stop firing. But frenzy mode gets rid of that too. Yep, so that's Sergeant Bonaparte gone. And we are moving on. So this stage is, well, once we get on the ground, um, it's kind of interesting. They've got some mechanics with mucus bouncing you around and stuff, um, which yeah, that sounds kind of gross, but um, they act as bounce pads, and they can be quite annoying, but it's still something different at least. Necessarily appropriate boss here. Come on. Yep. Once again, just firing as much as you can into it before the actual transition starts, just to get some extra damage in. Tank these hits.
And if you fall into a pit or lava or anything, um, the game just kind of kicks you right back to the platform that you're on, so you don't really have to worry about, like, dying on it or anything. destroy the individual orbs and stuff in there too. I'm trying too hard to focus on just the core. There's only like three times that they require you to uh, actually crawl through stuff. a boss called Four Forearms. You can guess why they're named that. Oh, come on. There we go. Oddly enough, this is one of the harder bosses going through, like, from a casual look at it, but... Once you get into the habit of just dashing through them, not too bad. Ah, I should probably just not clear our some armor. Creepers. Yep. Here's Nightshade again. Decent against her, a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, each time you fight against her, she has some sort of augmentation that gets added just to 
try and take you out easier, but each fight's kind of the same. Oh yeah. So, this stage, kind of annoying, because we have to hop on this thing the entire time. Do we have a moment? Yes. We just got a $50 donation from our host itself, Carter Free, who says, after working our way through the final day of Pixel for People 2023, I want to give you a, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone involved in the. Oh, I'm so glad it cuts out like that. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to give a huge, huge thank, thank you to everyone involved in helping this event come together. Thank you all the re-streamers, hosts, and runners for your efforts. And thank you to everyone who has donated so far. You're all amazing. And we thank you, Carter, for putting this together. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the $50 donation. Back to you, Jill. Sounds good. Yes, thank you very much. I'm just going to take this slower. I've already died too many times here. Here is this boss. Fairly easy. Um, I know it's voiced by some YouTuber, but I don't know who it is, and I probably wouldn't be able to tell you who it is if I knew. But one of the gaming ones. Um, yeah, fairly easy. They try and protect themselves, then they realize they can't see where you're at, and then they. Uh, Get killed. Let's keep going. Oh, come on. Darn. Went too far off screen. There we go. Okay, so now we're on to like the lava-ish section. Um, for the actual stage itself, main gimmick is kind of falling platforms or destructible platforms. Um, it also has another scrolling section that we are going to bypass when we get to it. Which I don't know if it was the intended way that they wanted people to go through it or not, because at like every checkpoint they respawn the uh, Thing that you're supposed to be driving around on, but either way, we're skipping it, so it's not too bad. And there are five main uh, like worlds to the game, so after this one. Uh, we'll be at the final area. Anyways, as far as the side scrolling ones go, this one's probably the hardest, but that's just because the pattern is just a little bit more erratic than the rest, but still, 
Being able to cover up here like this makes this fight a lot easier than it is on normal, or the campaign, I guess. Just go through, and we are done. Unfortunately, all the health balls into a lot of, so you just gotta try and do what you can to catch whatever you can. Unfortunately, this is kind of a uh, mini boss rehash area. So we fought Planet Dave before, and now we're fighting Moon Dave. The only real difference is just uh, the projectiles and stuff, so. Fairly easy, but still. Assuming I don't screw it up. I do enjoy the soundtrack quite a bit for this game. I mean, apparently I'm 
just running right into everything. Shape light. Just tank the hits and keep moving. And we're bypassing this. Almost to the end. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright. So here is our encounter with Space Badger. I didn't put that test is actual name. during each of these fights there's usually uh, like mid-fight dialogue and stuff but skipping all that and that's it for stage four now we're moving on to that factory level to those things. I also need to issue a correction to an earlier statement. Uh, this shoot em up boss is slightly different than the others. It's not just entirely up and down, but it's still a lot easier than it probably should be. As far as I know, um, you don't actually have to kill the uh, enemies, like the stage just keeps going regardless. I don't think there's any actual like cap off to uh, worry about. Obviously we're just going through and taking care of the smaller parts first, and then we're gonna go after the core. I should have enough health to just tank it. Um, obviously in higher difficulties we're not gonna want to do that, but not really a problem here.
that's what I want to get, but whatever. Okay, so here's the uh, gene mixing machine. Hoping I'll have enough health. As far as I'm aware, the creatures that it spawns are random. Um, some of them are a little bit more obnoxious to handle than others, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, the benefit for some of them though is some of them drop a lot more health than others. And some of them are super annoying to try and track down, so it's a good thing to have the homing missiles. Ah, great. Yep. Goodbye. Them look so happy. Looks like it's an internal thing. the end of that. Stage player. Now we get to fight our clones. Not too terribly difficult. Kind of chaotic, obviously, but nothing we can't handle. Unless I die, then we can't handle it, but we'll get back to it.
Okay. Here's the auto scrolling section that we can't skip. So. Just gonna be going through. Stealing space badgers. Space T Rex. Nightshade fight. Second verse, same as the first. And obviously in hard difficulty, we can't just tank everything, but... Second form. <laughs> ah, so that's that Stop as soon as he turns red after getting the final hit. There we go. 4920. GG. Uh, thanks. I don't remember if that's technically a world record or not, but there's nothing on the board for it, so we'll say it is. A new world record. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> well played. Thanks. So, where did you find this game? Uh, like I said, one of my friends uh, picked it up for me on one of the Steam sales recently, because it was like three bucks. So I ended up buying it for a few of my friends in return as well. I, I don't know if it has intentional references, but... You know, reminds me of Jazz Jackrabbit and Sam and Max, for example. Graphic oh yeah, wise. definitely. Yeah, I can see the influence. Very, there. very cute. All yeah. right. Do you want to leave your shoutouts for the last run? Uh, sure. All right. Well, thank you so much for that run of spectacular Sparky. Awesome game. I'm. <laughs> I got interested in that myself, by the way. But uh, yeah. We'll be back in a moment, going to take a little break. I suggest you guys do the same, stretch, hydrate, all that stuff, and give us just a moment. We'll be right back. 
Ministries are overrated, you dick. <laughs>